So last night, watching TV, as normally do on a Friday night, um, but I wasn't really getting into what we were watching. It's one of those things that can be on the in the background. So, um, and I need some cars. So what I did was have a look on our Facebook sites. There's a couple that I, I scroll on every now and again, see what people are offering. Um, and the Facebook site that I was looking at in particular is, is really well run by a, a guy in Grimsby. Um, it kind of makes the rule that one strike and you're out. So I'm very confident generally of dealing with uh, the right people on there. They describe their cars properly. Um, and you, you know what to expect if you're traveling the country to buy a car and yet you kind of pay for it in advance like we do. You have to have an element of trust in how they describe their cars. And, um, you know, everyone on this site is proper. There's only a couple of hundred people on there and it's really, really well run. So it's kind of having a flip through and... Um, I found this Audi A3 come up. It was a black 2014 1.4 S line. Uh, perfect for our stock, it done, done 84,000 miles. Um, in my head, the price seemed right, um, but of course, we're doing all the checks. So I had a look on the, the glasses guide, see what it booked at. Yeah, it was a little bit more than, than what it booked at, but you know, if I've got my margin in it, I'm not too worried about paying over book. Um, it was a nice car, the MOT history was clear on it couple of advisories on a couple of rear tyres, again, not a problem. I looked at what I could retail it for, and there was definitely margin in there. So I thought, yeah, you know, I'll have a crack at that. Um, it took me kind of five to 10 minutes to, to price check it and make sure everything's in order. Double check that the car was still available, um, because sometimes, you know, if, if, if you post something on Facebook on a Friday night like that, and, and it's the kind of stock that everybody wants, they can sell in a matter of minutes. So um, you do have to be quick when you see some of these cars. So um, I thought, I'm just gonna write them a message. There was a, there's a line across the sat nav, which looked a, bit, oh, looked a bit unsure, but I didn't know if it was a camera issue or whether it was an issue with a sat nav. So I asked him a question and he responded very, very quickly. I was just about to type him say, yep, yeah, put it down to me, I'll have that. And I thought, no, I'll do my double double check, my motor check. Now, we lots of dealers out there use companies called like HPI and Experian. HPI is the main one. People call it an HPI check as they do um, like Hoover to vacuum kind of thing. It's it's one of the, the most prestigious sites, I suppose, that a lot of people use. Uh, and then you've got Experian is the next one. We used to use Experian. But um, up until about four or five years ago, I suppose, and we changed to a company called MotorCheck. And now this is the reason why we changed to MotorCheck, because I did this check on this Audi, and I'm gonna spin this camera around and show you why we use MotorCheck. So this is the MotorCheck site. This was the car that we were gonna buy. And this is why we use the MotorCheck. Now, there are two issues on there. The first one is finance. Um, but looking into that, that really isn't an issue, um, and you'll see why in a minute. The next one is condition alerts. That is where the problem lied. So as we scroll down, this site tells you all about the cars that you're checking. Um, now this is why finance isn't an issue. Unit stocking, not a problem really. You know That'll clear as soon as you pay for the car and buy it. Um, lots of dealers use unit stocking. This is where the problem lies, condition alert. So it's not a cat N or a cat S. Why, I don't know. Um, something to do with the insurance company not paying out on it or whatever. I don't know how that is classed, but it has got unrecorded damage. And when you click on the cars, MotorCheck actually show you the, the, the pictures of the damage. So if you click on that, and um, we know that that car is the correct car and it was the sale date sold at a, a location in Westbury on February 2022. Damage to the vehicle is all over an undercarriage. And as you scroll down, you can see pictures of this car. So it doesn't look too bad from the rear. However, when you move on the front, I mean this unrecorded damage. Yeah, front end, undercarriage to say as well. That is why I didn't buy the car, and that is exactly why I use MotorCheck and not HPI. Now, the guy was unfortunate. He wasn't set out to um, trick me in any way whatsoever. I, I believe him 100%. They use HPI, and HPI don't always do these checks. They will check whether it's Cat N or Cat S, etc. They don't seem to show this information when it's unrecorded damage which is exactly why I use MotorCheck. And 
Uh, fortunately, the, the chap who I pointed this out to, I sent him a private message to show him, and he's absolutely gutted, he's gobsmacked, um, and he's removed the advert, and he, you know, I'm sure he'll sell the car on, but he will describe it as it is. So, yeah, if you are using HPI or Experian, I suggest you probably use MotorCheck in the future. Thanks for watching.